All right, so today's reading, tonight's reading is going to be for Leo. Okay, so let's dive in. Thank you, Spirit, for governing me, protecting me, leading and guiding me through Leo's reading today. It's timeless judgment. All righty, let's get some cards down here to see what's going on. Uh, I, I do feel like some of you guys are coming into a new, starting up something new. You guys have been baptized or christened or ordained or sworn in or took an oath or a personal vow to go the distance, okay? I feel like some of you guys can might even be in like boot camp or some type of... Um, developmental thing where it does um cause for rigorous work okay maybe rigorous studies so i feel like you guys are undergoing um something rigorous or extraneous i feel like something like i feel like some of you guys are in boot camp and you have to see um how you perform so you guys are enduring something you're persevering through something okay you guys are going the distance with something i feel like you guys will be judged for um the work that you put in or <laughs> lack thereof okay um yeah i feel like the hardest part is over there goes the reward i feel like you'll you'll get some of you will not like graduate top of your class but you'll like graduate like second of your class here I feel like someone is like the runner up, but they still gave it all they could. Um, they still gave it all, all that they could give here. <laughs> so don't be like, you know, sad about not being a run runner up. It's not the end of the world. Please um, own the position that you're in. Be grateful for what you did um, accept or what did you did achieve as well. Because you went through something tough, something rigorous, something challenging and the reward that you reap from it, um, it still deserves um, your gratitude is what I'll say. <clears throat> I don't know what this is talking about for Leo, but Leo, I do know that um, <laughs> you'll know if this is your story, okay? I feel like at the end of the world, world road, you will find peace as well. You'll be glad it's over, okay? Some of you could like be in military boot camp or something or just doing some extraneous studies you could be in medical school as i look up at that you know what i'm saying you could be um doing your um what is that called you could be in like uh, in um oh god you could be in medical school any type of schooling that um causes for like long nights early mornings you know it really calls for strict discipline and passion and to be driven to get to this point um, so you could, you know, get like your degree, you know, your certification, you know what I'm saying? Or your doctorate or whatever piece of paper that will solidify you in your role. Um, what is this judgment card, Spirit? Thank you. Ace of Cups. Yes. Oh, my God. So you will be happy with the results, okay? And I feel like somebody is happy with um the results as well from you okay i feel like someone is going to be showing your appreciation thank you for all your hard work that you have put in we love you here um you could be you could have been like some type of internship somewhere and they decided to keep you on somewhere this is definitely giving me hospital um, vibes so like when you're like studying in for med school you have to like put in like your paper to like you know, your bid in where you want to be. So I feel like someone could be like in like some type of medical school. Um, when you're like on the floor, you got to practice that for what, like four years or some shit. Yeah. So I feel like that's coming to the end with some of you. Healing. Yeah. Some of you, I really feel like you guys are healing here. You could be um, doing something opposite of what you felt like you were due. Leo, this is your reading. The star card is opposite of Leo. So I feel like you guys might be doing the opposite of what you um, thought you would be doing or doing opposite of what someone else wanted you to do. And I feel like you guys are putting in so much work because work you have to prove someone wrong. Okay. Like you are going to be able to rest. Your hard work has paid off here. Okay. You have been praying through this asking god for strength oh my goodness please god just get me through this night it's like after one day you know goes and then the next day comes like when one day is ended and completed you feel like whoo that wasn't that bad and then the rigorous work starts right back up like the next day um 
yeah some of you i'm hearing that you guys like had a hard pregnancy here okay um for some reason i'm feeling like someone may have had um, a very hard nine months and then like they finally gave birth and um it feels like you do have the support you need you feel like oh my god that pregnancy was worth it i'm glad my baby is here i'm glad i have support surrounding that some of you guys had twins honey some of you guys had even had triplets here and of course some of you guys had one child but i'm definitely feeling twins okay two girls for sure you could currently just have twins two girls and you have a boy or you could already have um two twins and had a boy Okay, because that's that's what I'm feeling here for fucking sure. And Leo, I shuffle you're at the bottom of the deck. So when I said something about a son, here goes a son. Some of you guys definitely just had a child. I feel like you had a hard pregnancy. Some of you guys have to make a medical decision for your health, okay? Some of you guys are giving like choices for your health. And you know what? Sometimes those choices are hard to choose from, right? Some of you guys are like, oh my God, I feel like some of you got to ask, you know, like your family members or ask other people to put their input in, like what surgery is better? What cancer treatment is better? What, whatever is better to treat, um, some, I heard William, Williams, Williams disease. What, what, what treatment is better to treat this disease as well here? Some of you guys are in a uh, same-sex marriage looking to adopt a, ch a baby or someone is carrying a baby for you. So this is talking about surrogacy, okay? Someone is carrying a child for you, okay, um, is what I'm seeing. And for some reason, I feel like maybe it was very tough not to be the producer of the child here. But I feel like someone's body couldn't take another pregnancy, um, here so you had to pay like for a surrogate um, and you're having a son is what I'm seeing here as well um, what else this is also talking about self-love here when you're looking um, in the mirror realizing who you are you've come so far in this journey and I feel like you're looking at yourself in a new light you're curious on how how you can love yourself after everything that you've persevered through after everything you endure after all of the battles you're still standing here you're still able to love but most importantly you're still able to love yourself or don't forget that that is a thing you know yeah you're still standing but make sure you're loving yourself you're inputting um the healing because this is talk about healing um that you give to others back into yourself pouring that into yourself here Pouring that into your children. Making sure you're mentally capable to pour into others before um, you do, you know. Making sure that that's moving in harmony. I feel like someone telepathically con connects with someone as well. You could actually be a twin, Leo. Now that I'm thinking about it, like it feels like you're telepathically um, connecting with your twin. Some of you are telepath telepathically connecting with your deceased um, twin as well is what I'm getting. I feel like someone must have uh, passed on. Only one made it here. There's like one twin that made it here um, through a pregnancy, okay? Someone has to like make a choice to like rid the actual um, twin. Um, wow, okay. That's interesting. Some of you guys had like a, a twin boy and girl and you had to like rid of one, maybe the boy um, here. That's interesting. It could go either way, but Whew, chow. That is um, very, very interesting. Leo, you guys are going to be coming into this Zen energy. This is talking about um, being um, in this solace energy. I, I feel very relaxed and um, comfor comfortable where I'm at right now. Um, I feel like um, <laughs> there's sudden there's not these ripples and tides that are coming up in your energy right now you know what i'm saying um i really like that let's see what you may need to surrender yeah it's the idea of fixing someone so you guys could be actually experiencing or connected to someone who is going through like um some kind of type type of medical decision and you feel like you can't do anything about it or someone has been through something severe and tragic and traumatic 
and you you're, you're trying to show up in ways that you just can't so accept the role that you play in other people's lives you can't fix everyone surrender to defensiveness right there on the nine of wands right um sometimes we get triggered by uh sometimes people trigger us we get defensive and we might not even know what we're getting defensive about and sometimes we are scared to speak it out loud what um they're right now they're showing me like a black and white candle with wing. i don't know what the hell this is um so sometimes when we can't speak because i also feel like i have black tape over my mouth um sometimes we can't speak about why we're defensive so i feel like someone may say something to you get triggered and you can't even utter the words of where the trigger stems from so that's very interesting divine timing i do feel like some of you are trying to get pregnant or trying to get something fixed on you or having a, a health decision that needs to be made uh, a health procedure that needs to be made and you guys are trying to figure out when you're going to be able to do something i almost feel like you need to make a choice um something needs to happen in order for you to make a choice but divine timing and, and it kind of feels like i want to hur hurry up and make that choice but um I, I i do feel like you're gonna have to wait on it you know you're gonna have to practice patience okay um it, it could be a hard thing to practice for sure And then it says surrender to the magic. So know that you are a manifester, right? Some of you guys could be manifestors, generator, generators, generator, manifestors, whatever. Um, but this is talking about in a time of grief, heartache, and pain. Don't forget that you still can manifest. Um, and the way to manifest is essentially, you know, knowing the, uh, the universal laws of manifestation, okay? To will in, to know what to be so, to hold a secret, to dare you know, have that conviction. Um, but it's also talking about, you know, you want to manifest in a balanced energy, not a place of sorrow, hurt, or lack. You know, if you're manifesting from a place of lack, what are you going to manifest? What are you going to, how are you going to change nothing into something or something into something else by feeling like you can't, you know, like you don't have that capability and you most certainly do, you know, it's talking about having heart, having the courage, um, to stand up and um, still pull forward, even when you're not feeling that magical. So we do have Be Humble, <laughs> your card. Um, first quarter moon in Leo. These cards are so beautiful. And because it is new, I'm just going to read real quick what it says. I love this deck. It is the, uh, what is this? Moonology Manifestation Oracle Card. So, th first quarter moon in Leo. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel right now. About your reading, Leo. So, you guys can actually tell me how you feel about it. It says, um, be humble. Tension is in the air. You know that you can achieve your goals which is half the battle, but the card suggests you need to be less show and more substance as you move full, as you move slowly towards your goals. Don't try to impress anyone with money. Avoid allowing your ego to overwhelm you. Don't opt for something merely because you think it impress others. Practice grounding. In a, in a financial situation, slow your spending and love if you're being stubborn or possessive, now is the time to stop. Okay, so um, manifesting mindset, identify and clear any blocks, step up to receive all the goodies that life has to offer you. You have to want it. So that is for you. And I'm just going to pull um, some divine timing cards so if you're waiting on something and you're wondering about something anything that has to do with time and you're trying to figure out when will it happen um hopefully these cards can clarify this for you 
10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Right after you get done watching this reading, it's going to happen for you. Scorpio season. Okay. So I do feel like some of you guys might feel like something is going to happen in minutes and it's actually needing some time to be reborn, to be, you know, fully shedded and brought into a new. I do feel like, look, it, it is de it's going to be de developing um, in the near future here. Um, also have Aries at the bottom of the deck. So in the new f near future, like um, March. And I also feel like some of your timing is unknown. Like, it's like your gods want to um, test your faith, you know, your patience, like t test your belief, your trust. Um, so I do feel like that. But some of you guys do have a sense, sense of urgency and they're like, um, your sense of urgency can be like, um, like dampening the energy. So I will be very mindful of that as well, because you could be weighing the energy down, wanting something to like cook faster than what it's supposed to. You know, when you're cooking a cake, you can't pull it, you can't rush the cake. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be cooked all the way. Like something's not done being produced in the background and you need to be patient so it can manifest how you want it to. Um, it's pretty much what it's saying. So I hope that that helps you, Leo, and see you in the next reading. Peace.